into this like children's museum called Chloe Children's Museum. So we're heading over there right now. Gotta go in real quick. Thank you. That is beautiful. Oh my god. You gotta take a picture of me, huh? Jacob! Stop waving! Come up there, Jacob! This is on YouTube. Say hi to YouTube. Hi. <laughs> Can I get a picture? Yeah, uh, okay. Let's go over here, let's go up here. You can go right here. Did you know I think last night I searched up William Become on YouTube? Really? Yeah, I tried. And you wanna you wanna know my YouTube channel? <laughs> okay, hold on. I'll show you it. Okay. Uh, I'll subscribe to you too. <laughs> this is my YouTube. It lowers. Oh, okay. That's my YouTube. W Willy Vlogs. Willy, Willy W Vlogs. Yep. Mine is my normal name. Your normal name? <laughs> Take a picture with your phone. Okay, hold on. I'm sure. Hold on, Mom. Cause get in the way. Get out. Because they're taking a picture. How you are. Uh, Yeah, it's so nice. That shit, this shit is beautiful. B, yeah, B A H A. 
H? Yeah, House of Worship. That's yeah, like, like, uh, no, you spell that right? Are you sure? Yeah. You could even look upset. Look. Huh? Yeah. Let's go downstairs. All right. Today is nice because of the flowers. Yeah, I know. That last time, no. We were here, there's nothing in here. Oh, really? There's no fountain. Pag ari na ako, winter eh. Wa, yun yung mga fountain. Yeah. My phone right here. I'm taking a video right now. Okay. okay. Oh. All right. One, two, three. How about the two wheel and the boys? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Come on. Come on. Hundred, yeah. You might gonna buy. I, I, I have like how much? I got like expensive stuff in my camera. I got the thing, the mic on it. That's some mm. Oh yeah, right here. And, and also, I got a two hundred dollar. Wow. I mean, I mean two thousand dollar um camera. Oh wow. Two thousand wow, dollars. Really cool. That's really nice. You do the vlog. Where are we going? You want to go upstairs? You want to go inside? No, we can go inside. And my, and my dad has it. Yeah, they're going inside right now. And my, and my dad has it right now. Oh. Uh, you see that? Yeah. Okay, Christian. And in the Christian Bible, what does it say about when Jesus is going to come back? In Matthew 16, 27, Mark 8, 38, and Luke 9, 26. What does it say about Jesus coming back? Yeah. Is Jesus going to come back? Pretty soon. Yes, yeah, soon. It in says soon. And it says, I will come back in the glory of my Father, the glory of God. And in, in Revelation 21, 11 and 21, 23, it says the new Jerusalem is going to come down. And you know what's going to light it? The glory of God. So the Bible says over and over again that Christ will come back in the glory of God. But when? When will Christ come back? Now, Christ, 
I don't know. It's getting closer and closer. He's going to come like a thief in the night, right? And he's going to come in the glory. Would you guys like to listen in? Where are you guys from? Iran. 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 Yes. Oh, nice to have you. Are, are you guys Baha'is? No, but we have a lot of Baha'is friends. Oh, well, welcome. They are living in Iran, so it would be interesting for them. Fo follow me over here. So you're looking at the oldest Baha'i temple in the world, and I'm going to tell you, you are the oldest Baha'i temple in the world. Yeah. Wow. It's a good word. Yeah. <laughs> So what does a Baha'i believe? The first thing a Baha'i believes is independent investigation of truth. Those are big words. You know what it means? It means everybody decides what they believe for themselves. So I don't believe what my parents believe. I believe what's right. So I always try to look for truth. And so I'm going to tell you what Baha'is believe, but that means you don't have to believe it. Baha'is don't force our belief on anybody else. We say, you can come here as a Christian, or a Catholic and leave here as a Christian or a Catholic. What is your faith, guys? Probably for most Lithuanians, not much. Ex Muslim, but not right now. What's that? Ex Muslim, but right now. Not right now. Like? Yeah, that's not almost everybody in Iran right now. So here's what Baha'is believe in Baha'is believe in a God, and we believe God sends messengers. Have you heard of this messenger, anybody? Yeah. You've heard of him? Okay, good. What about this one? Mm -hmm. This one too? Mm -hmm. So a lot of the messengers might look familiar, some might, but you've probably heard of Buddha as well? That's Chinese, I think. Chinese. So what we believe as Baha'is is that God sends messengers. We don't really look at the countries where he sent them. We, God sends messengers, and throughout time, God sends messengers. In every age, God sends a new messenger, and that messenger gives a message. What were the two most important things that Jesus taught? The two most important commandments. Do you know? Exactly. Love God and love your neighbor. What were the two most important things that Buddha taught? Love God and love your neighbor. The most important two things that Zoroaster taught? Love God and love your neighbor. And by the way, you know who actually said love God and love your neighbor? Jesus was repeating it. Moses. Love God. And so they all come and teach the same spiritual truths. But in every age, we have different things. How old are you again? And how old is your mother? And are you learning the same things in school? Yeah. Exact same things? He's in your grade, he learns everything you're learning? Or different things? Different yeah. things, so, so imagine humanity, imagine humanity going through school, and sometimes you're in first grade, sometimes you're in second grade, third grade, fourth grade, and as you're going in each grade, we're learning new things. So it's not that God is changing his mind, it's that we're changing, and God is educating us as we change. And to illustrate this, I'm gonna go all the way back to Abraham 4,000 years ago. God says to Abraham, go kill your only son. So he ties up Isaac, or Ishmael, because again, the wasn't in perspective. He ties up his only son, and at the last minute, the 11th hour, he gets a ram, and he kills the ram instead. My question to anyone here is, why did God ask Abraham to kill his only son? What was he trying to prove?